I was a young boy. I was given a sum. Very simple sum was there, arithmetic. There is a water tank. It has a volume of 10,000 liters. It is getting filled up at the rate of 120 liters per minute. And there is a leakage. The leakage is around 20 liters per minute. So how much time will be required to fill up the tank? I am sure many young engineers must have calculated that it is 100 minutes. But I didn't answer the teacher. I said, uh, I have a question. So he got a little angry. He said, instead of solving the sum, why you are not? Why you are asking question? I said, sir, I have a question. If the tank is leaking, why somebody should fill it? <laughs> <laughs> so he, he caught my ear. Those ears it was allowed. And then he said that, uh, if you feel you are very smart, don't consider you are smart. You will have to solve the sum like this because it has five marks. And the whole country marks one. Nobody is Janwadi here. And second thing he told was very important. He said if you feel that the water tank is leaking and why somebody should feel it, when you grow up, you will realize that the whole country is filling water in the tank which is leaking from all the sides. And if you want to do something for the society, at least seal one of those leaks. And he was so right. When you see all the fields, let it be agriculture, let it be education, let it be research, let it be food, everything is leaking from all the sides. There is a nice share of Dalib. Dalib says that similar one mistake Kali continued to do. And what was that? Eki Bhut Zindagi Bhar Karta Raha Parvar Dali. Dhul Chere Pe Thi, Lekin Aayna Saaf Karta Raha. He was trying to do that. And precisely in our system, we don't realize many times we actually are creating problems and then solving them. The approach is never to identify a problem and solve. The approach is to create a problem and then solve it. We call it employment guarantee scheme in mind. Okay. What, what is needed? What is needed today is first understanding how much we owe to the nature. I will take one example. Everybody was talking of uh, in terms of money. What is the salary? How much is the You are aware I am sure all of you are aware how much your dresses cost, cost, how much milk costs, how much rice costs. Are you aware? And you know how much you buy because you pay for it. One simple question I will ask you, which is the most important thing for life? It's not clothes, it's not the milk, it's not rice. Which is the most important thing for life? Air. Can somebody tell me here how much air you breathe per day? And most likely the answer will be we don't know because reason is it comes to be the cost. I will tell you how much air you breathe every day. As a biological scientist, I will tell you. You breathe in every day 21,000 times. How many times? 21,000. If you don't believe, count and see. <laughs> and if it's difficult to count, <laughs> so, in 21,000 times, maybe 500 minutes or here or there, if you are doing asanas with Baba Ramdev, you will feel less. But only Shavasana you do, I am sure. <laughs> you are a uh, big dummy like me. I don't think anybody is going to do that. Point is, during those 21,000 times, the capacity of your lungs is something like 700 ml. So around 17,000 liters air you breathe every day. And you know that air contains 20% oxygen. So around 3,500 liters of oxygen is required per person every day. And what is the weight of that? If you remember your chemistry, if you are not marks early, the one gram mole of a substance occupies 22.4 liters. So 3,500 liters of oxygen 
will be weighing around 3 kg. And today, there is a company which sells oxygen in packed cylinders at the rate of 7000 rupees kilo. So, 3 kilo of oxygen is 21000 rupees. You breathe in 21000 times, so every breath costs 1. We have taken breath, give me 1. <laughs> Otherwise, I will cut the supply of oxygen and then you know what happens. The whole seminar will be headaches, will be at upstairs <laughs> in front of Chitra Mukta. Okay, accounting for that. And how to pay that? An excellent example was given to me in my school by my teacher. When we took admission in the school, they handed over one small plant, plant rate that was a paper tree in the factory tree. And then they asked us to put it, plant it at one place. While giving that, he addressed a beautiful shlok. He said, O Yomu Tam Dasha Tam Ashwat Tam Prahodayam Chandansi Asya Parlani Yastam Vedha Sabedavi. It's an importance of Ashwat Sabedavi. We were asked to plant that tree in the premises. We cultivated that tree. When we left the school, it was around seven years old. Today, when we go back in the school, this tree is. 50 years old and giving 3 kg oxygen to the nature through the process of photosynthesis, so our pillar of oxygen is being made. And that's the precisely the economic mission the road, the road taken from nature, is to be returned to the nature. I have developed one uh, uh, system in my lab. Can you give me a bottle? See, I, I need a bottle in my hand. Always. Not the evening bottle. <laughs> this is the scientist bottle. Okay. Now this, uh, there is a, I have taken one desiccator in my lab. On 1st June 1999, I took a desiccator. And in this desiccator, I put 800 gram soil, 100 gram manure, and I put a money plant there. So this desiccator was open. And whatever water was lost, uh, 500, 6, 5, 550 ml water I added into that. And whatever water was getting lost every day, I was replacing it. So I maintained a water level of 550 ml. I maintained soil of 800 gram and 100 gram manure. The money plant started growing. Around that, some insects came. Around that, uh, some earthworms were seen. As whatever happens in usual ecosystem, the same thing happened in the desiccator. Except that it was glass, it was not an earthen form. And then, after three months, when the plant became very sturdy, I realized now plant cannot, cannot die. I took the lead of the desiccator and I sealed the desiccator. This was on 31st August 1999. Today it is uh, 14th or 15th October 2016. So 17 years and 2 months are almost completed. I have not added a single drop of water into this. I have not replaced the soil. The plant which is inside is just beautiful. It's completely covered the pot and all the insects are alive. All the earthworms are alive. The system is sustainable. Everything in this system is going to be Avinashi, Chiranji. In Hindu mythology we say that Ashwatthama and the Hanuman and the Chiranjee, I have not met both of them. If you know the address, let me know. But I have met one Chiranjee system, and that is this. <laughs> this is a periodic thing. In Marathi, there is a beautiful song by Gadu Madhulkar. Mati Pani Ujeda Vara, Tutsa Misalashi Sarva Pasara, Avada Samagriya Akara, Uta Kitaja Uta Nandila, Nase Anta Napa. And this is the Srishti which is made, this is a completely sustainable system. Whatever water was there 550 ml, till today not a single nanometer has been lost or created. Because you know the law of conservation of matter, matter can neither be created nor can be destroyed, it only changes from one form to the other. When the leaf falls down, it is not kachra what you call it in your language. In my language, in the nature language, there is no word called kachra. Everything is a resource. If the leaf doesn't fall, the 
new leaf is not going to come. If the insects are not going to die, new insects are not going to come. Now you compare my small ecosystem with the big earth and you will realize there is no difference between the two except for the scale. My system is a small one, there is money plant, there are few insects, there are few earthworms, there are <coughs> millions of microorganisms. But in the big system, there is there are 750 crore people, there are n number of plants, n number of animals, n number of microbes, but basically both the systems are sealed. Mine is sealed by me, the other is sealed by there are 33 crore options. <laughs> Sunlight only enters from outside. Then if the leaf falling here is a resource, why the leaf falling on the earth is a waste? Why the country has to become such a horrible scene of garbage everywhere? India can become such in one day if you decide that from your house no waste will be given to municipality and Bharat can be such in one day. It's not a problem. The problem is in our mind. I have not given my waste to Mumbai Municipal Corporation for the last 40 years for a single gram. I convert all my waste into manure. I use the manure in my own house to grow my vegetables and I am quite happy. My sweeper is very happy because he doesn't have to collect anything. I don't bring anything in the, from the market in the plastic. I carry it on my own bag. And you do that and you will realize that household waste is completely zero. So simple. We have been blessed with such a beautiful atmosphere in the country. You know, if you take a milk in the glass, leave it outside. What will happen? That milk will get spoiled next day. You can't eat it. But in the same milk, add one spoon of curd. Next day it becomes beautiful curd. You can make chakkas, rikhat, whatever you want out of milk. Just the same out of that, and you can bring that. What's the difference in that culture? In your house, the kachara rods, in my house, kachara is converted into manure. What's wrong in using that culture and converting it into the manure? So, so simple. We are having so much of. Uh, if you look at the country, it looks like a big bit. We don't have that belongingness. I can spit on the road of. Mahad or I can split on the road of Mumbai because Mumbai doesn't belong to me. But I don't split in my house because the house belongs to me. And this happens in a country which has given a message to the humanity. The whole world is my house. If the world is your house, why it is it so dirty? Have you ever asked that question? Have you developed that belongingness feeling in your mind that yes, this country belongs to me? If there is something lying on the road, it's my responsibility. I don't have to wait for municipality to lift it and to put it properly and make the use of that resource. We have not enough brains in our society. None of our syllabus teach. Have you, have you ever thought you need three liters of drinking water every day? You need about five liters of water for kitchen. You need about 20 liters of water for taking bath. But same drinking quality water in one breathe, 60 liters, 70 liters, you put it in flush and you never bother about it. Have you never thought that I can reuse my bathroom water and kitchen water and put it in flush? India can support double the population, that doesn't mean you should increase the population. But with the increased quantity of water which is present today, 50% of that water goes in flush because everybody wants a flush facility. But none of our syllabus teaches that, yes, you can recycle the kitchen water. Isn't it a biggest example of the leaking, leaking tank and nobody wants to see it? Unfortunately, our life has become something like what I learnt in nursery rhyme in my younger age. Solomon Grande, born on Monday, Christian on Tuesday. Married on Wednesday, repeal on Thursday, died on Friday, buried on Saturday. That is the story of Solomon Friday. They've taken the birth, grown up, had married, had children, saw the TV, saw the Facebook, and died one day. What do you have achieved? Nothing. Have you ever thought why you have been sent on this earth? 
Paramatma has separated Atma Tattva, given the body, sent it on the earth with two important principles. The first principle says, Aham Brahmasmi, I am the world. So I am sending you this, uh, this. If you are present, if you are listening to my talk here, everybody understands what I am talking. Those who have left, they don't understand what I am talking because they are not physically present here. Your physical presence is required and that is called Aham Brahmasmi. I am not the world. I am not enjoying the world. I am the world. But with the another principle that is Idam Namama, this is not mine. Or Gadi Manvartar says, Yesi Ugra, Jasi Ugra, Kapriya Sati Karisi Nataka Dina Pradeshan say, Eka Daga Sukhata Shamar Dari Dukha say, if you are going back without anything on your body, what you have been sent for, you have been sent for with an important thing that if this earth has been given deposit to you. The Yo Vishwakarma hai, the Paramatma hai. He has given you with a lot of faith. I am sending you this, giving you this earth as a deposit. On this deposit, you have to pay interest. And what is that interest? I will make this world more beautiful while I leave the earth. And that is the deposit which is supposed to be given by you. So your deposit is keep the earth clean. Make it more beautiful than what it was. Plant at least three trees. One for your oxygen and two for the energy which is required to burn your body. Like the booth, okay, hey, boom, there, okay. Lone <laughs> Reke campus me. We should have listened to Dr. Kade. Are these dates on Alate? At least don't cut three days. I had to tell this time, I come at some second thing, made up cut here. Don't cut three days, trees. It's important. So do this. This is the this is the minimum which you can pay for your earth. You have been sent on this earth. You should be like Dr. Abdul Kalam. You should be like Dr. Einstein. Einstein used to say at the age of 74, he said, now I know how much physics I know. Kalam, while talking to his students, he died. I would like to have a death like Kalam. It's a beautiful death. Kalam's Kalam Sahib day, I think you should live a life like Kalam and I am sure you will be exactly a very satisfied person while leaving the earth 